Hi guys, uh, welcome to another edition of Keeping Up with uh, Nigerian Footballers on Hashtag TV Africa Sports. I'm DJ Ogengbo. On today's show, we'll be talking to a footballer uh, who was uh, part of the Nigeria on the 17th squad in 2013. Got dropped at the last minute. From then on, he went to forge a career for himself in the United States and is looking to play in the European uh, Football Leagues. So I've got with me Nancy Osebo. Nancy, thank you. All right, uh, let's talk about some highlights. Um, I will follow your career and you've played some matches with Andre Pello when he went over there, the great DJ Drogba too. Uh, what has been your biggest highlights while playing in the United States of America? Um, I've always wanted to see Drogba and then because he's a great player, I've been watching him and all that, so he's a fantastic player. So playing against him is just like a dream come true, you know. And then winning him as well, like. And there was one time you got nominated, his goal, your goal too, and you came out top. How did that feel for you? Yeah, like it's been a good feeling for me because, like, it's you comp competing against one of the best players in the whole world, and then your goal come first. So it's, it's something you should be happy about. All right, so we'll come back to your club career now. Uh, let's focus on. Um, how you started off and you were one of those players that um, almost got through to that victorious on the 17th set in 2013. The one that lasted of Kelechi Yenacho, Chidebere Nwakali, Musa Yaya. In fact, you, your name was on the list uh, proud to going to UAE. I mean, how did that feel with Madugaba dropping you at the last minute? Um, I felt bad. It was really, really sad because like you knowing the night before, it's, it's kind of really sad. And then, since from then, I almost stopped playing football, you know, because I was frustrated and all that. Watching my mates winning the World Cup, and I'm not there, you know, you could that feeling. Yeah, so. But then, it's a challenge. I have to like push you in life. Things happen like that, so you just have to be strong. And Okay, um, still with the um, national team, um, do you have any hopes of coming to join the team? Because you look at your style of football, you're more or less a central midfielder or an attacking midfielder now, very diminutive, and it seems like that's a role that um, is needed in the national team at this point in time. We've got a lot of attackers. Uh, what do you think you need to do to be able to get into the national team? Um, I just have to keep working hard, you know, like when my time comes, like. Then I play, and but I'm always ready. Like whenever I get called on, I'm ready to give my best 100. All right, what next for you now? Your club career. Uh, you were talking about the fact that you want to leave the United States. What's the next destination? Um, I've always wanted to play in Europe, so that's where I'm looking at right now. So hopefully, yeah, very soon. Any specific league? Um, everyone wants to play in the EPL, but then I. I, I just want to start somewhere for now and then maybe hopefully with time I'll get there. Your favorite club? The one you support um, if you're not playing in the United States? <laughs> FC Barcelona. You're a backup fan? Wow! Yeah. Uh, probably suit your style of play again. Mm -hmm. um, it obviously will be a dream come to you. Probably get to uh, play for the sure. Lograna. Sure, I can't wait. Yeah, that's, that's everybody's dream, you know. And then hopefully someday, yeah. All right, uh, let's leave football completely and talk about your personal life. I um, mean, what's your taste in music like? Um, Hip-hop, you're more of a cool guy. What do you like in music? <laughs> I like <laughs> I like Nigerian party jams. Like for the whiskey, the video. Yeah. Whiskey or the video? Uh, whiskey. Ah, okay, I figured that out. <laughs> My first job, just looking at you. I, I do that a lot with people. I don't know the ones you like to. Uh, but aside music, uh, any other thing? You're into comedy, you like watching movies. What do you do for fun, aside music and football? Um, I'm all, I like hanging around my friends like all the time. Like if I'm if they're not in my house, like I do over there. Like we just walk around. All right. So final and Uh Let's end on football. And this is we, we know that the lifespan of a footballer max 15, 20 years. What do you think you would achieve and say that, or what you look back at, you will feel I've accomplished my aim as being a footballer. What would that be for you? Mm, that's a tough question. Winning the World Cup with the Super Eagles, playing for Barcelona. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, yeah, let's see that. We okay, okay. Let, let, let me let me let me make it clear now. Um, to win, to play for Barcelona and probably win the Champions League or winning the World Cup or the Super Eagles or the Nations Cup, which one would you pick? 
<laughs> um, I think I'll still do the win the World Cup for Nigeria. Okay, it's been a pleasure talking to you, Dancio. Yeah. Thank you very much. All right, uh, that's uh, Dancio Selbo. Um, started his career in the city of Jos, um, was part of the Nigeria 17 team. Obviously, did not go with them after he was dropped in the last minute. But it's also a message to young stars who have suffered outbreaks like this that you can still forge ahead in your footballing career. He did that, went to the United States, and is gradually moving up the ladder and wanting to play in Europe too. So I guess you guys have been inspired by his story. So that's it with this edition of um, Hashtag TV Sports and it's been keeping up with Nigerian footballers. I'm DJ Gingbo. Bye for now.